you want to introduce? Yeah. This is Puppets by Arlie. And I'm Arlie. And this is a Puppet Studio Tour. That's good. I'm Arlie, and this is a studio tour. So this is my puppet building studio. I rent it with a roommate, uh, and it's in the South Bronx in New York City. She actually runs a shadow puppet troupe called uh, Little Did Productions, and there's some of their sets there. And I'll put a link to their stuff down below. So showing you some of the stuff I have in here, um, I have boxes of puppets of licensed characters that I'm working on so I can't show you but I can show you some mementos I have from past shows around here so this is where I store my paints I I was also in the off-Broadway original cast of uh that Golden Girls show a puppet parody and the director gave us a dolls of each one of our characters and this is Rose here um there's my COVID puppet from another video. Uh, there's a, there's my climate classroom car. Oh, over here. I was in a show uh, that got to go to London and perform at a at the Serpentine Gallery in Hyde Park, and so I have the map from Hyde Park. The show was called uh, Manufacturing Mischief, and it was uh, rod puppets. It was a really neat show to get to be a part of. And then over here, very helpful, my um, drill press, I recommend. Here's my uh, table with the sewing stuff. Sometimes I get to do overhire stitching for Brooklyn Puppet Conspiracy. And they have these wonderful puppet stands that are really cheap and effective. So I'll put a link to those down below. Here's my very messy table with the sewing stuff. I recommend this suger. It's got uh, a lot of oomph to it. And this is my current sewing machine. I like this one because the motor is a little stronger and it can handle sewing through fur and more tough to get through fabrics. Okay, and then on the wall, I just kind of hammer stuff into the wall and use it as like a giant bulletin board. But um, points of interest, I have some old hands made by Bill Baird. I have a, I think it's a latex one and then I have a fabric covered one. Pretty neat. Um, oh, I have a poster from Mouse King, which was a show created by Famous and wonderful puppeteer, Noel McNeil. It's the story of the Nutcracker and it was performed in Miami and I got to be a part of it. Really fun. And then over here, we got the Hungry Caterpillar. I was lucky enough to be able to build and perform with the Hungry Caterpillar and it took us all the way to China. It was such an amazing opportunity. I loved being a part of that show. Down here I have a way to figure out what you should charge clients for building. So your materials cost plus a 20% contingency plus your hours and rate plus another 20% contingency should equal the cost of what the puppet should be. And oh, I have this picture of Betty White from uh, that used to hang in the dressing room at that Golden Girls show at Off Broadway. It's a really fun show to be a part of. And then let's see, oh, I got foam. Every puppet builder has like an interesting way to store their extra foam. I have some up here and hanging from the ceiling. I have a bunch of random random storage stuff as you do in New York City. Oh, this is very important. This is our scrap box. Oh, and over here, this is uh, a poster from Imagine Ocean, which was a show by John Tartaglia. I got to be in the in the tour of it. I played Dorsal, the, the voice of John Tartaglia. 
It was all in black light. It was a really fun show. Oh, here's the bandsaw. That's a uh, big star of the show. Um, large wood glue, of course. And here's our, our glue table that is next to the window. And what else can I show you? Oh, here is, I got to go to Japan and here is a, a, po a fabric wall hanging poster of one of the Bunraku characters from the Bunraku Theater in Osaka. And, oh, and when I was in China with Hungry Caterpillar in Xi'an, China, shadow puppets are are a big deal there and so i bought her this cool dragon puppet uh, we have our storage of all of our l200 foam this is uh or sometimes it's called cross-linked uh polyethylene foam but we call it l200 foam and we use it a lot for we used it all the time for the hungry caterpillar puppets we got some extra stuff. It's it's a little lighter weight than your than your EVA foam, which is the fun foam. Oh, and then over here on my bulletin board, I have a leaf from the Swedish Cottage Marionette Theater. Uh, there was a fall scene, and just off of the puppet bridge, we threw uh, fall leaves, and it was so simple, but it was such a magical effect. We also have a bookshelf of puppet books. And if I were to endorse any book, it would be 10 Minute Puppets by Noel McNeil, the same guy who did The Mouse King. S such simple ideas that you can put together and start working with puppets with kids. It's really a brilliant book. So I'll put a link to this down below. Here's a rat that lives here in my studio. Ah, uh, yeah, you got a rat issue. Oh, we have a rat issue, do we? Yeah, I'd say you got a human issue. 